In this video for the subject of economics, we are going to cover the section of short term production curve. So basically if you look onto the past papers, the questions from the production firms come from the question number 3 and 4. So there are certain questions which are repeated most of the times in the past years. So we are going to see the most deepest part of this chapter which is the relationship between the short term productions and the relationship between the short term production costs. So regarding this short term production firms, most repeatedly asked questions are two. One is the short term relationship between the short term productions. So in, for this question, the answer must have a graph, which of the total product and the graph of MP and A, the marginal product and the average product. So the total product is the output generated by the inputs and the marginal product is the additional unit generated when the input is increased by one unit and the average product is the output per unit. So what happens here is there are three stages that connects the total product and the average product and the marginal product. The first stage. What happens in the first stage is that the total product increases in an increasing rate. At that point, the marginal product increases sharply, whereas the AP also increases. But AP will be less than marginal product. So that's what happens in the first stage. In the second stage, what happens is that the total product will increase, but in a decreasing rate. So at that point, what happens is the marginal product will reach its maximum point and thereafter starts decreasing in a sharp manner. At that point, what happens is AP will be greater than MP. Thereafter, in the third stage, what happens is the total product will start to decrease. But before that, at the end of the stage second, it will reach its maximum point. When it is at its maximum point, MP is at zero. So at that point only, the third stage starts. Whereas the total product starts to decrease and MP will reach negative. That's what happens. So the next repeatedly asked question is that, the relationship between the short term production curve, cost curves. So basically for this question, the answer will contain this graph. The graph with the curves of marginal cost, average total cost, average variable cost and the average fixed cost. So when we look on to this graph, we have MC, ATC, ABC and AFC. So after drawing this graph, what is required to be written is that we should just describe how these curves behave in this particular situation. At the first, we should write about the marginal cost curve. So you can deeply see into that what happens. First of all, the MC decreases and thereafter reaching its minimum point. So here, this is the minimum point. After reaching the minimum point, it will start to increase sharply. So that's how that sharply word, remember it's utterly important to mention the word sharply. So that's what this, this MC curve behaves, that's how it behaves. Thereafter, what happens is the MC curve increases sharply by crossing the minimum points of ATC and ABC. So if you see ATC and ABC, ATC is upward than the ABC because ATC is equal to ABC plus AFC. Therefore, ATC is up and below we have ABC. So that's how it works. So this gap is also could be mentioned as AFC. So that's how it works. So what are the points mainly to be written here is MC decreases at the beginning and thereafter increases sharply and thereby crossing the minimum points of ABC and ATC. And also it could be written the minimum point, the minimum point of MC 
is here and that quantity is as q and the minimum points of a b c and a t z is at the quantities of q1 and q2 so now the other questions that could be asked is that the relationship between the productions and the costs in a short run production form so for that this is what we need we need to draw the graph of the production curves and the graph of the cost curves so in the graph of the production curves we have marginal product and the average product and in the graph of cost curves we have marginal cost curve and the average cost curve so at a glance we could see something is that the cost curve graph is the mirror image of the production graph so that's what we could see it at a glance so first of all we'll analyze the mp and the fc curves if you see the mp curve what happens is that it takes a shape like this and at that point at a level it reaches its maximum it reaches its maximum point at that the same level where it takes the maximum point and that's where in the cost graph mc curve gets its minimum point so when the maxim the marginal product is maximized we could see that the marginal cost curve is minimized and thereafter what happens is the marginal product goes downward by crossing the maximum point of average product that's where it crosses at the point at the level where marginal product curve cuts the average product curve at the same level where we could see the marginal cost curve cuts average cost curve at its minimum point so at the same level this is what happens so when mp is maximized mc is minimized so when ap is maximized ac is minimized so in this video we were able to cover the sections of relationship between the short run productions short run costs and the relationship between both the costs and the production so i hope you guys understood the content so never stop learning never stop practicing because more the questions we practice more the efficient we would be able to face the examination and perform well so i wish all the very best for all the final examiners who are about to sit for the examination this year thank you